what is the ampere swimming rule now here ampere swimming rule ampere swimming rule right by using the ampere swimming rule we can calculate the direction of the magnetic field which is produced around the current carrying conductor now let us consider this is a conductor this is the conductor right what is the current i is the current now there is a person now there is a person now here the person is there here the person right facing towards the conductor facing towards the conductor a person is right facing towards the conductor and he is swimming in the direction of conductor then in the direction of the motion of the left hand the north pole of the magnetic needle deflects even though it is right difficult to understand right but the direction can be explained by first ampere with his swimming rule right there is a conductor this is the conductor the current is passing like this right now the person is swimming in the direction of conductor the person is swimming in the direction of conductor facing towards the conductor facing towards the conductor then the motion of the left hand gives the direction of the magnetic field next one what is the maxwell cork screw rule what is the maxwell cork screw rule maxwell's cork screw rule maxwell's cork screw rule what is the maxwell's cork screw rule maxwell's cork screw rule right let us consider now this is a plane this is a plane now there is a cork screw now this is a cork screw right now this cork cork screw is rotated in such a way to move in the direction of current suppose the current is inward to the plane of the blackboard suppose the current is traveling like this the current in the conductor the current is in the conductor now this is called what to say cork screw now the cork screw is rotated in such a way to move in the direction of that is current now in what way the cork screw is rotated in that way the magnetic field is produced therefore the cork screw is moved in the direction of current then the rotation of the head of the cork screw gives the direction of induced magnetic field right the most important is ampere's right hand thumb rule the most important is ampere's right hand thumb rule ampere's right hand thumb rule right hand thumb rule ampere's right hand thumb rule ampere's right hand thumb rule now this is the right hand this is the thumb these are the remaining four fingers if the right hand thumb is placed in the direction of current suppose the current is like this right hand thumb is placed in the direction of current then curl of four fingers gives the direction of magnetic field now right hand thumb rule right if the current is passing like this now right hand thumb is placed like this the default the fingers the curl of four fingers the curl of four fingers gives the direction of magnetic field let us consider the current is passing like this current is in the direction of upwards then right hand thumb is placed in the direction of like this then the magnetic field is produced like this now let us consider now the current is like this the current is left right what to say right to left then the right hand thumb is placed in the direction of current then the curl of four fingers gives the magnetic field now right hand thumb here in the four finger in the right hand thumb there is a thumb and remaining four fingers if the thumb shows the direction of the current 
that a curl of four fingers gives the magnetic field. Suppose this curl for shows the current, then thumb will give the magnetic field. Therefore, now Ampere's right hand thumb rule. If the right hand thumb is placed in the direction of current, then curl of four fingers gives the direction of magnetic field. Now here, generally, this is represented by dot, this is represented by cross. Right? Here, let us consider this dot represent outward current. Outward. Therefore, here cross represent what to say inward. Right? Inward. Suppose here, now the current is this is what to say a plane. Let us consider the current is like this. Let us consider the current is like this. Therefore, this represent current. That means outward current. Outward current. Therefore, outward current, the current is like this. The current is like this. Okay. Na? Then the right hand thumb, right hand thumb is placed outward. Then this will give the curl of four fingers. This will give the direction of magnetic field. In this case, the magnetic field lines are like this. The magnetic field lines are like this. These are the directions of magnetic field lines. Suppose, let us consider, now there is a cross. Cross represents what you say? Cross represents, cross represents inward current. Therefore, inward current. inward current now the current is like this the current is inward therefore right hand thumb is also inward as the right hand thumb is inward the curl of four fingers like this this curl of four fingers gives the induced magnetic field therefore what to say these are called right the magnetic field lines are like this for inward current, the magnetic field lines are concentric and clockwise direction. For outward current, the magnetic field lines are concentric circles with anti-clockwise direction. For outward current, magnetic field lines are circle and having this common center and the direction of magnetic lines of forces are anti-clockwise direction. For inward current, right, magnetic lines of forces are concentric circles with a clockwise direction now in this case throughout this one what is the higher study experiment it was conducted in 1820 it was the accidental experiment right when the current is passing through a conductor he observed there is a deflection in the magnetic needle what shows the deflection in the magnetic needle as it is showing the deflection in the magnetic needle, that is the presence of induced magnetic field around the current carrying conductor. Now, he concluded that, he concluded that induced magnetic field is produced around the current carrying conductor. Now, the characteristics of the induced magnetic field, the properties of the induced magnetic field, is depend upon the strength of the current and direction of the current. Induced magnetic field is a vector quantity, right? It has both magnitude and direction. The magnitude of the induced magnetic field can be calculated by Ampere circuit law and by its Watts law. The direction of the induced magnetic field can be calculated by Ampere swimming rule. Maxwell's corkscrew rule and Ampere's right hand thumb rule. Now, I discussed about the Ampere's swimming rule, Maxwell corkscrew rule, Ampere's right hand thumb rule. Right? Ampere's swimming rule, a person is swimming in the direction of current by facing towards the conductor, then the motion of the left hand gives the deflection of the magnetic needle. Maxwell Kark screw rule. The Kark screw is moved in the direction of the current by rotating the screw. Then the rotation, the direction of the rotation in which the Kark screw is moved in the direction the magnetic field is produced. Now, next one. 
right hand thumb rule if the if the right hand thumb is placed in the direction of the current the curl of four fingers gives the direction of the magnetic field